what's up guys it is king alpha here and welcome back everyone to a brand new video man we are back on some warzone today because oh my goodness for some reason i have no idea why this is a thing vanguard has just been officially added to the battle pass this is abs oh, excuse me this is absolutely insane they have never in any previous call of duty they have they have never gone back and added new content to a battle pass that has already been released but no um when you guys first launch up into call of duty and you guys go to the battle pass it will say adding vanguard content to battle pass and it will start going through all the different tiers and adding it into your battle pass obviously i've already seen that so we're not going to be seeing that but as you can see here it now has warzone and vanguard stuff in the battle pass now here's what i find interesting Previously, there was Cold War stuff here. There, there doesn't seem to be Cold War stuff here anymore. Uh, you can see that here at Tier 100 there is, but most of these, there's no longer like Tier or Cold War stuff. It's now like Vanguard stuff. And again, you can see it is throughout the entire thing. But um, I want to see something and I'm going to see how this works. So for instance, there's a calling card right here that I already have unlocked. Um... And this is uh, apparently I have unlocked, right? So this is for Vanguard. So I want to see if I go to my barracks, do I have this calling card right now? Or are we going to have to wait for these to come out? No, I actually have these things right now. Wow, that is, that is insane. That is insane. Wow, that is, that is incredible. I don't understand this. I feel like this just came out of the blue, but we now have officially Call of Duty Vanguard stuff inside of the Battle Pass, and there's some pretty sick stuff in here. This is my first time going through and looking at it. You can also see uh, they've even added blueprints. This is a legendary M1 Grand blueprint that they have just added into the Battle Pass. Wow, this is there is an STG blueprint. Here's an emblem. Wow, these are some sick stuff. Yo, this is actually better than the default battle pass. This is some really dope stuff. Um, you, we see we're also getting double XP tokens. Um, there's another double XP token, getting some charms. There's another variant for the M1 Grand. Like, they're adding in so much stuff. This is incredible. Another legendary blueprint. They're just adding in so much content from Call of Duty Vanguard. And this is, I mean, this is amazing to see, but I just don't understand why this is a thing. Again, going back to the end of the battle pass here, I don't think we took a look at everything that comes at the end. No, we did. Okay. So there's nothing at tier 100 or anything like that. The the latest one is tier 98 where we get this watch. <laughs> I don't know why it's a watch. This is the last thing we get. But yeah, we can already get double XP tokens, we can already get a bunch of content from Call of Duty Vanguard, and I just find that super fascinating. I don't know if that's just me, guys, but I find that super fascinating that we are already getting content for Vanguard. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below, because I find it super fascinating that we're already getting content for these games. Now, I want to check out, because I don't have the game bought yet i have not officially bought vanguard but i have blueprints so can i use the stg 44 will it let me use it because i have these two blueprints we have warning tra track and a uh, bone rattler will it let me actually use the blueprint it will okay it will let me use it interesting enough it won't let me customize it for some reason but that is interesting. Also, if I go to sort, you can see now under the sort tab, there is a Vanguard only option. Uh, and as of right now, there's only two Vanguard weapons, the SCG-44 and the M1 um, Garand, or however you pronounce that. And then we also have some uh, M1 Grand uh, variants as well. White Obsidian and Heirloom, which are pretty cool ones. But yeah, there you go. Call of Duty Vanguard has officially made its way into Call of Duty Warzone. Man, that's incredible. I can't believe they're doing that. And I mean, hey, I'm all for it personally. I think that's really, really sick. 
I do want to check out something real quick. Again, it's, it's really weird that it won't let me customize my weapons. Maybe I have to at least level it up once. But if we head over to Charms... So I just got to check this out because in the Battle Pass, there was a really cool Task Force 141. Um, one? No, doesn't look like it's here. So it's probably going to be for Vanguard... Vanguard? Vanguard weapons only, unfortunately. But um, obviously, I can't put it on there right now. It was close to right here somewhere. Yeah, here it is, right here. Peacekeeper. Yeah, this is a legendary charm. Uh, this is most likely going to be for Vanguard weapons only, then maybe. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on this. I mean, I figured this was going to be uh, happening at some point. Uh, but I did not I did not think... I mean, yeah, obviously when Vanguard came out, I figured Season 1, obviously it, they would have Vanguard, Black Ops Cold War, and Warzone all in the same battle pass. I figured that much, but I did not expect them to go back after they have already released the Battle Pass and add Vanguard into it. And also, this early on, we are still a month away from the release of Call of Duty Vanguard. And, like, we haven't even been revealed the entire game yet. Like, Call of Duty Vanguard has not even been fully revealed yet. And we are already getting integrations into warzone which i mean that's awesome to see i'm glad that they're doing that but i just gotta say i did not expect that whatsoever but that's super cool to say and also guys i just want to say let me know right now currently what level and procedure you guys in cold war i am currently tier 93 in the battle pass level 243 and i am prestige master so level uh prestige 27 the maximum prestige in the game let me know what level and procedure you guys are i'm really curious to know it's been a couple days and now it's been like what four days three days since uh the release of season six so let me know how far have you guys gotten in the new game but thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure to drop a like sub to the channel if you guys are new here ding the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates almost tutorials updates like this one but as always i love you all i catch you guys in the next one peace out